All right, college football fans. Hello out there, everyone, particularly to the OU fans. As you guys know, my name is Terry James Taylor. And just to let you all know, um, Christmas is just around the corner. And, uh, well, it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> Sugar Bowl bound, baby. So necessarily saying this is the pregame to the Sugar Bowl, the uh, 80th annual Sugar Bowl, played in New Orleans, um, in the Superdome, between my number 11 Oklahoma Sooners and the number three Crimson Tide of Alabama. Uh, something that uh, a very important thing that you need to know here. Is the uh, the color divide, the color separation, uh, with both teams crimson being their main uh, uh, main color. Uh, they they have to of course integrate uh, the colors. Uh, being the uh, Oklahoma Sooners, we will be the white team, the cream team. So I will be wearing my I can get it out here, my white o OU coaches polo here from last year. Here it is, standing up. Um, and Alabama will be wearing their um, crimson. I know that not a lot of you guys, being all you guys, ha uh, fans have crimson. I mean, I, I mean, have uh, cream, white, uh, uh, polos, jerseys, whatever. If you do, I encourage you that if you are going to the Sugar Bowl, that is the uh, color that you wear. Uh, support your team, support your color, because both teams will be uh, a shade of crimson. Uh, the game will take place on Thursday, uh, January the 2nd of 2014, next year, uh, at 7.30 on ESPN. And uh, as far as weather conditions, weather issues, there shouldn't be any. Uh, with the game being played in the Superdome, there shouldn't be any weather issues as far as that's concerned. Um, the Sooner Radio Network will bring you the football game, as always. My good buddy, Toby Rowland and Merv Johnson will be on the radio call. Um, on the sideline reporting will be uh, Chris Plank, Dusty Dvorak, and Teddy Lehman. Uh, you, you guys, of course, as I've said all season, you guys know Chris from uh, Up in the Buzz and uh, Dusty and Teddy from The Rush in Oklahoma City. Uh, Chris Plank and The Buzz are up in Tulsa. If you uh, want to listen to the national media, you can listen to those guys too on ESPN. You'll have a play-by-play -by, -play by Brad Nessler, color by Todd Blackledge, and sideline reporting by uh, Holly Rowe of the Big 12. Um, things you need to know is that the Oklahoma-Alabama series is is actually 2-1-1 one one, um, in that aspect. Uh, however, the two wins did come in the Stoops era in 20. Uh, in 2002 and 2003, a home-and-home -home set. In 2002, the final score was 37-24. Uh, and in uh, 2003, the final score was 20-13. to uh, The last time these two teams met was the 2013 uh, matchup at Bryant-Denny Stadium. The biggest win in the Stoops. The biggest win against Oklahoma was a uh, 17 to nothing blank out in the Orange Bowl for uh, uh, Alabama. Because, as I've said, they are 1 2 and 1 against the Sooners. Stoops uh, 2 1 and 1 overall, 2 and 0 overall against Alabama. His stoops, uh, biggest win coming, uh, 37 to 24, in Norman a few uh, in 2002. Uh, conference titles for Alabama, uh, 2008, 2009, and 2012 in the Stoops era, and the Stoops era for Stoops 2000, 2002, 2004, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2010, 2012, uh, last year. Um, the bowl records 
for Nick Saban and Coach Stoops. Uh, Saban is in his seventh year at U of A, University of Alabama. Uh, but unlike Stoops, this is not Saban's first rodeo. In ninety, in 1990, I'm sorry, he was at the University of Toledo. From 95 to 1999, he was in Michigan State. Uh, after leaving Michigan State, uh, 2000, 2005, he was, of course, with LSU. And in college, in 20, uh, 2007 to present, he's been at the University of Alabama. Um, he also spent two years in the NFL, going 15 and 17 with the Miami Dolphins through the 2005, 2000, and the 2006 seasons. His college ranking for uh, Nick Saban, 151, 154, I'm sorry, 154, 55, and 1. Last year, uh, going 13 and 1, uh, uh, and they won the SEC West title and the SEC title outright, and they beat number one Notre Dame in the national championship game. Uh, with a final score of 45 to 14 in uh, South Beach. As far as Oklahoma, uh, Bob Stoops, 14th year, all at Oklahoma, no NFL ties or at all yet, uh, all at Oklahoma since 1999. He has a winning percentage of 158 and 39, which is at 802 or 0.802. Going 10-3 uh, last season. Last year they did tie for the conference title uh, in 2012. And in the 2012 Cotton Bowl they lost 41-13 to Texas A&M in the bowl game. Injury updates for both sides. Um, Alabama first. Um, the tie have a couple of injuries. Uh, well, Michael Fleming, Flanning, the defensive lineman. Uh, Vinny Saneri, the defensive back safety. Dakota Ball, the defensive tackle. Nick Perry, the defensive back. Davin Tom Thomps Tom Thompson, the defensive lineman. And Kenny Ball, the uh, wide receiver. At least as far as right now, they are out. Uh, Al they do have a couple of questionable uh, players on the Alabama side. Haha, -ha, Clinton Nix, Hashim Nix. Uh, questionable, Bradley Slive, questionable, and uh, uh, Knicks, of course, the defensive back that got in trouble all those many couple weeks ago. Slive is the defense as a, a defensive cornerback, and Ryan Kelly, Ryan, Ryan Kelly, is a uh, offensive lineman. As far as Oklahoma, there are a lot of players out for those guys, of course. Also, uh, Corey Nelson, Trey Millard, Jordan Phillips, Damian Williams, and Jordan Smallwood. Uh, there are a couple of questionable players, Adam Snee, Adam Shedd, and uh, Tyrus Thompson, both offensive linemen, both questionable for the matchup. Uh, Alabama's biggest win last year was when they beat number one Notre Dame in South Beach, 45-14 uh, in their bowl game, and won another national championship for the Tide. Uh, Oklahoma, their biggest win was the Red River Shootout last year. Uh, beating number 15 Texas 63 to 21 in the win. Uh, bowl wins uh, for each side. Alabama's Nick Saban eight and six uh, in all, uh, at Michigan from Toledo to Michigan State to LSU. Now Alabama, as I said, eight and six with a point point five seven one winning percentage. Uh, but yeah. With the Miami Dolphins, he did not get to the playoffs, so therefore he is 0-0 in that. Oklahoma, uh, 14th year, 7-7 for Coach Stoops, 500 even. Uh, key plays, uh, offensively, just don't make mistakes. Uh, and I know that that's been a major key, basically the key for me all year. That has to stay of massive, 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 massive importance in the bowl week against Alabama. Uh, 
Um, they're gonna get. They're going to get Trevor Knight, Blake Bell, Kendall, who's ever out there. This is probably the best uh, defense that those guys have faced, uh, including the last two weeks against Oklahoma State and Kansas State. Uh, now they are probably the two uh, best uh, defensive teams besides uh, ba and including Baylor in that. But I mean, Alabama is just on a different level, and we have to understand that. Defensively, just keep everything in front of you. A.J. McCarron is going to make plays. A.J. McCarron is a guy that's been to two of the last three national championships and won two of them just uh, by magic. He's been there because he's a winner, and uh, he can keep plays alive. He keeps things coming along. So you have to keep everything in front of you. Don't let, don't get beat deep. Uh, keep it all in front of you. And special teams, to put yourself in good field position. If you have to kick a field goal, kick a field goal. If you have to punt the ball, punt the ball. If we do those things, we should keep it close. I'm not going to say we're going to win uh, because I just, and being an OU, OU guy, you can call me an OU homer if you want, but I just do not see Oklahoma winning this ball game. Um, you know, I know I'm going. I spent uh, good uh, Christmas money on this ticket right here just to go down there. Uh, now, am I saying that Oklahoma can't win? I'm not saying Oklahoma can't win. Uh, am I saying that Oklahoma won't win? I'm not saying Oklahoma won't win. It, but it's going to be tough against this team. Uh, Alabama is probably uh, the the uh, they're probably pretty ticked off about the way that the season ended uh, with with uh, the two losses. So uh, we better be ready to go. So just as a reminder, if you're heading to the uh, Sugar Bowl, wear your cream, at least to the game. You can wear anything you want outside the game, uh, but if you're going to the game, please find something cream, find something OU, find something OU white to wear to the game if you're heading to the game because uh, they're going to need a lot of support, particularly this time. This is not going to be some uh, walk in the park. This is Alabama, winning winner of the last two and the last three national championships, and if it weren't for... Uh, one play, they could be playing for another national championship. And I'll just say this for our guy, Stoops, who loves to wear these uh, polos. I, I hope that the Alabama people and the LSU people and the AM people didn't take what he said as a shot at the SEC, upper, upper, upper echelons, the Alabamas, the... Uh, I guess now Auburn's, LSU, A&M, those teams. He was morally talking about uh, Vanderbilt, Ole Miss, those teams. Uh, so I, I just want to say that. Uh, and with that being said, hope to see a lot of crimson and cream, uh, a lot of cream, a lot of white in New Orleans. I'm looking forward to heading down and uh, hope to see you down there. Uh, if I see you down there, good. Um, I'd love to meet you. Come on and meet me. If you don't want to, but you just don't want to follow me on Twitter, go ahead. You can. Uh, uh, I'm at SoonerFanOK on Twitter, or you can follow me on Facebook, Harry James Taylor. Find him. Find me there also. Uh, this has been the prediction, the uh, production, the pre-show for the All-State 80th. I guess I should say All-State Sugar Bowl between our number 11 Oklahoma Sooners and the third-ranked Crimson Tide of Alabama from the Sugar Bowl in New Orleans. Thanks for watching and as always, Boomer Sooner everybody.